Speaking of shooting tips, the most important thing is how to use the light. Maybe you would say that I would not spend money on buying so much lighting equipment. No problem. In fact, the most important thing you should learn is to use nature light to take good shots. The sunlight will constantly change during the day, while morning and evening sunlight is the softest. Often, in these two times, you can shoot great light effect, no matter front or backlight shooting. At other times, the sunlight is too strong. In addition, if you are shooting a person under a very sunny environment, it is recommended that you place a soft cloth between the character's face and the sun. This will make the light softer and the facial shadow gone. Or you can shoot back the light and then use a reflector in front of the model can help reflecting sunlight to get rid of the shadow. If you are interviewing people in the room, you can use the light entered from the window as the main light source. Let the face of the person is facing the window. If you are facing away from the window, the face of the people will be dark like this. Perhaps you can see many YouTube videos using the technique of photographing against the light while the light on their face is still very good. When you are dealing with such a backlighting shooting, make sure there are light sources in front of the model like this. Recommend a LED light that can adjust the brightness according to the light conditions, which is very convenient. Panning shot will make the picture more dynamic and it will be more storytelling if you start with suspense. Of course, the premise is that you have to configure yourself a video capture stabilizer. A lot of beginners uploaded the video material to their computer for viewing after finish the shooting part and will find that the screen is shaken and shaken again. This is because our body is shaken when we are walking. But we see some sports videos shot by GoPro that is not shaken and the lens movement is smooth and stable because professionals will use the stabilizer to assist shooting. Stabilizer is divided into camera stabilizer, cell phone stabilizer, and stabilizer designed for GoPro, this kind of sports camera. They are both very similar to use and the price is actually not expensive at all. It is highly recommended that you buy one because it will make your video look very smooth and dynamic. Applying slow motion is a very good shooting technique, also called high frame rate shooting. Like the latest iPhone X can shoot high frame rate video with 1080p, 240 FPS, and as well as Sony, which also launched a mobile phone with super slow motion that can shoot 720p at 960 FPS. I recommend that you can try a lot of this slow motion feature because it can not only take a different dynamic beauty, but also shoot a lot of fun and interesting slow motion videos. Many people like the effect that the background depth of field is very blurry. In fact, there are three aspects that need to pay attention to get the background blur effect. The first try is to shoot with a large aperture lens. The larger the aperture of the lens is, the better the effect of blurring the depth of the background will be. For example, Canon's 50mm f1.8 STM lens, which is attractive with reasonable price. The second tip is to reserve enough space for the rear of the subject so that the effect of the depth will be more spatial and blurry. Third, telephoto lenses can be used for shooting. The longer the focal length of the lens is, the better the blur effect of the depth will be. how the mainstream resolution of online video is 1080p. In fact, if you choose to export HD 1080p video, you can actually shoot at a higher resolution size, such as 4K, because you can zoom in the screen or switch between different scenes during post-editing. Of course, the premise is that your computer is configured enough to edit a 4K video. If you always feel that you don't have a good shooting place and don't have a good background, then it's better to choose to shoot with a green cloth as your background. It is highly recommended for ordinary users to purchase this convenient green cloth, which is convenient to carry and is very flat after deployment.
Want to learn more about the technique of green screen? Go watch another video on our channel. You might want to get your footages some color tuning and make it look more beautiful. If you think color tuning is too professional and sophisticated, just simply download a color filter to use. Or, there's some preset templates for you to simply add on. Doesn't it look so great? Text is not only something to express your message, but also a kind of element decorating the video. Try adding some good looking text in your travel video like this, and you'll find that you've taken it to the next level. If you put two video footages together and it's awkward to play from one to another, adding a beautiful transition will work. See? A good transition not only makes two clips play smoothly, but also enhances the rhythm and pace of a video. Don't you think so? If you think it's not bad, please subscribe to this channel, Filmora MVP, and share our videos. We will bring more exciting videos to you.